What's up guys, Super City bringing another episode on Road to Be an Editor. In this episode I'll be showing you how to do a tutorial on how to change the colour of the camo on a gun. This clip I'm just going to use MW2, just called just what I had. And um, I'm going to show you a preview of this, so this is it. As you can see on the gun, all this part it just changes through all these colors. Um, it does look a little bit better with CC on because it kind of brightens it up with the CC. But well, for this case, I don't have a CC on just for the tutorial. So let's get started. What you're gonna do is make a new composition. I'm gonna call it Camo Change. We want to do just drag in the clip, and you want to trim it down to where you want to start the um slow motion so I'm gonna start the slow motion so I'm gonna just trim it to here trim clip it in and I'm gonna start the slow motion where I see the guns coming the most probably about there so what you're gonna do is type in Twixter Twixter Pro if you guys don't have Twixter Pro um just YouTube it. Um, there's so many tutorials on how to get it. Um, you it won't be hard to find, and it's pretty easy to download. So what you want to do here is you want to change the frame rate. On default, Twixter it's always at 29.97, which is not really good for Twixter because it makes it all blurry and fuzzy and shit. What you want to do is go back to your project and click on your clip. It says here the time, how long it goes for, and it says 59.803 FPS, which means frames per second. So what you do is copy that down, so 59.803. And what you want to do is you want to keyframe the speed at 100, so click the little stopwatch button here. You want to go over one frame to the next frame. Then you'll make it one, which is the slowest speed you can go. You want to go in your clip and click U to bring up your keyframes. As you can see here, we got normal speed, normal speed, and then you got slow motion all the way until I want it to stop. So I'm just going to make it stop at the end of the clip. So go to the right at the end of the clip. So next frame, that's right, right at the end. You want to go two frames back. You want to click keyframe it again at one at one. So click this little triangle diamond thing here you want to go one next frame and you want to type in 100 so that's what the twigs are done so you can press click U so all the keyframes go now what you want to do is you want to right click in this gray area here click new click new adjustment layer what you want to do in the adjustment layer is you want to type in on the effects of presets hue and brings up hue and saturation drag it on the adjustment layer um, we don't need this right now, so you can just turn it off and close it by pressing this arrow. What we want to do, this is an important part, is what we need to do, we need to mask out where we want, where we want the colours, so on the camo obviously. We want to mask out all the grey parts. So how to do this is, um, you click the adjustment layer and click this pen tool right here. So click that and to start masking, it's, it's kind of hard to do it right now because we're not zoomed in. So what you need to do, you need to click H to move around the clip and then just scroll with your mouse wheel. So I want to start from here, so just go down, so all the grey you see, that's touching the black, just like this, grey, 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 and go across. Alright, we're just about done. I didn't do a very good one just because I need to keep this tutorial short. But for, just what you can do, you can zoom in and you just get a perfect. It does look much better, but um, I just need to keep this short. So now that our masking's done, so this effect's pretty much done. All you need to do now is turn on hue and saturation. Click the arrow down. You want to go to your first slow motion keyframe. So click shift, click the um, current time indicator and go to where you see the one right here, 
Quick your adjustment layer. Click the stopwatch here on the color range. Click on the time indicator. Hold shift. Go to the other keyframe that says one. And you want to make the master hue full rotation. Make it three. So that means it goes through all these colors three times in that time period. So I'm going to RAM preview this to show you guys what we have done. As you see there, it goes for all those colors. Um, yeah, with color correction, it does look a lot better. But I don't have it on right now. Oh, no. That was it there, guys. Um, pretty cool effect. Um, if you do want to make it a little bit better, um, what you can do is go on your adjustment layer, click MM, so twice. Brings up this mask. Go to mask expansion. You want to make it two pixels and the feather you can go um go one and that just what what the feather and expansion means is just that it kind of blends in with the black so it doesn't just cut it off kind of fades away doesn't make much of a difference it's just a little bit better but yeah this is the end of the tutorial guys on road to be an editor episode three hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment and a favorite if you guys want to see more tutorials, please leave a little comment down below on what tutorials you want to see that I can do in After Effects. Um, hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.